welcome to the Royal and Regal Coronation Do Disco. Did you know that this year the King is going to have a coronation celebration where he will be crowned King Charles Third. One, two, three. It's going to be in May and of course we're going to celebrate with the King with a very regal and royal do disco so we can celebrate this historical moment in time by dancing our fingers in the disco do. This exercise will make your fingers super strong for all the afternoon teas you'll drink and for all the waving and waving of the flags. So, get your disco dough and let's go to the coronation celebration dough disco! Let's get start the warm up for the King's coronation celebration. Squeeze and pass, squeeze and pass, squeeze and pass, squeeze and pass. When the king is ready, he has to go to the coronation chair, which is 700 years old. And when he gets to the chair, the trumpets sound and the people shout, God save the king. So let's sausage to make a trumpet. Push the end with Peter Pointer and Toby Tall and make your trumpet round nip and pinch. Then you need a place for your lips to blow the air through your trumpet. God save the king. God save the king. When the king sits on the coronation chair, he is anointed with a special holy oil and the holy oil is a secret recipe. Shh. So let's anoint the new king by balling, patting, over to the other side, pat, and take the holy oil and anoint the new king. Anoint means rub or sprinkle the oil like this. So rub, sprinkle, rub, sprinkle. Over to the other side. Whilst this is occurring, the king is covered in a golden cloth. So he is not visible to the crowds. So rub the oil, sprinkle the holy oil. Rub the oil, sprinkle the holy oil. Now he's ready to be the king. Once he's been anointed King Charles III, he will receive two scepters. Scepters are beautiful long golden rods with different things on the top. One has a diamond and one has a dove. When you're the king, you receive two scepters. Here's one. Let's squeeze and pass and make another one. When you're the king, you receive two scepters. 
Also, the king will receive an orb. An orb is a circle like this. Let's ball it, everyone, and make an orb. Oh, and his orb, of course, is crested with jewels. Pop your finger around your orb to encrust those jewels. Fit for a king. Now he's been announced, he's been anointed, and he's received two scepters and an orb. He will then be uncovered as the king. But there's one more thing, what have I forgotten in the coronation celebration do disco? You guessed it, it's the crown. So let's sausage, make sure your sausage is quite long so that you can connect it right up like this. Well done. Now, again, we need some jewels. I'm going to have a diamond here, a ruby here, a sapphire here, a garnet here, a pearl here, another diamond, and a sapphire and an extra ruby. Oh, yes, some amber here as well. Wow, look at the crown, fit for the king. When it's placed on his head, he is then King Charles the Third. Once the king is crowned, he parades down Westminster Abbey into his golden coach and is taken to Buckingham Palace to celebrate his coronation as the reigning king of England. And at Buckingham Palace, they have a massive party. And our fingers love to party. And so let's all get on the dance floor and celebrate King Charles the Third. Babies going crazy. Don't forget the other fingers want to celebrate. Oh yeah, what a celebration of King Charles the Third. Don't forget, baby's gonna go crazy. Get all the fingers on the dance floor. Woo! We've just made history. God save the king. <laughs>